The Life of Jolene Cujo, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Jolene Cujo is the protagonist of Part 6 and the 6th Jojo of the Jojo's Bizarre Adventure series. Jolene is the only female Jojo to date and daughter of Jotaro Cujo. Initially an ordinary girl, Jolene quickly awakens her string-based sand, Stone Free, during her time in jail. Welcome to the Imagi! In today's video, we're going over the life of Jolene Cujo. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Imagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all of our social media accounts. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Background Jolene's childhood was often spent without her father as his job frequently required him to leave the country. Even when subjected to a high fever, Jotaro was unable to return from Japan to be with her. At the age of 14, her life as a teen began to spiral downward upon being mistaken for a suspect in a robbery she didn't commit and then fleeing from an officer by stealing a motorcycle. Upon being arrested and detained in a holding cell, falsely charged with the crime, she and her mother pleaded her innocence and even begged Jotaro to bail her out. However, as he didn't believe her, in the end she was sent to juvenile detention. When her mother was divorced by Jotaro, Jolene became even more frustrated when he left the family. Soon she joined the Hellriders motorcycle carjacking gang and spent more time getting into trouble. At 19, having cleaned up her act and left the gang, she went on a date with a preppy rich boy named Romeo Giso. Upon driving home, Romeo and Jolene were in a car accident, Romeo having fatally hit a pedestrian. Worried that he would be charged with reckless driving and dropped from a university waiting list, Romeo decided to take the corpse and dump it somewhere, persuading Jolene to help him and forget about the entire incident. A few days later, however, Jolene was found at home and arrested. First Days in Jail Jolene befriends Hermes Casello in prison while awaiting her transfer and also receives a gift from her mother, a pendant in which she pricks herself and throws away immediately. During the transfer, Jolene awakens her power to unravel into strings, but without friends or money, Jolene is in a precarious position in the Green Dolphin Street Prison. Victimized by her cellmate Guest, Jolene manages to assemble her strings into the true standstone free. She manages to make herself respected by the population of the prison, but still needs a way to get out of prison. Jotaro's Visit one day, Jolene receives a visit. Despite the warnings of a mysterious child named Emporio Al Nino, Jolene goes to the visitation room but sees that her father, Jotaro Kujo, is present. Furious, Jolene tries to go away, but Jotaro warns her that his enemies framed her in an attempt to lure him out. Soon, they find themselves battling two stands, John Gallier, the sniper, and the stand White Snake, which traps Jolene and Jotaro in an illusion. Although both manage to escape, Jotaro's memory and stand are stolen by White Snake. Jotaro's last words, confessing that he cherished his daughter, shake Jolene. While Jotaro is given to the care of the Speedwagon Foundation, Jolene chooses to stay in jail and retrieve his memory and stand as well as find the hidden enemy. Jotaro's Stand Disc Hermes Costello, who awakened her own stand and battled Thunder McQueen, retrieved Thunder's memory disc, allowing Jolene to investigate it and find a hidden stash of discs near a farm. In order to search the farm, Jolene and Hermes volunteer to look for two missing prisoners near the bogs, but have to fight the plankton stand Foo Fighters when they find Jotaro's stand disc. After a lengthy confrontation, Jolene spares Foo Fighter, seeing that it was misguided rather than evil, and Foo Fighters takes over the corpse of the prisoner Atro to go live with Jolene's group. In possession of Jotaro's stand disc, Jolene has attracted the attention of her enemy, Enrico Pucci, who only dismissed her as a pawn for his plan. Realizing her dangerousness, Pucci sends Mirashan in order to get the stand disc back and kill Jolene's group. However, Mirashan is defeated by Jolene and Foo Fighters. Jolene's call to the Speedwagon Foundation is intercepted by Pucci, who sends Lang Wrangler in order to assassinate her. However, one of Emporio's allies, Weather Report, comes to help and both kill Lang. Having set up a rendezvous in the back courtyard, Jolene manages, despite White Snake's efforts, to deliver the disc to a messenger pigeon. Jolene gave Jotaro his stand back, but Jotaro is still in danger of decaying without his soul. The Maximum Security Ward Hermes Costello, who willingly threw herself in jail, enacts her revenge against Sports Max, a gangster who killed her sister. Unfortunately, Sports Max's stand, Limp Biscuit, resurrects him, and a fight ensues between Hermes, Jolene, and Foo Fighters, who came to help her against Sports Max's army of invisible zombies. Sports Max is soon vanquished, but Hermes is gravely injured while Jolene is thrown in the maximum security ward. Since the examination of Sports Max's memory disc revealed that White Snake used Sports Max to resurrect the mysterious bone, which is now in the maximum security ward, Jolene is determined to find this bone. However, Pucci sent four stand users to kill her, while Foo Fighters enlists Emporio's second ally, Narciso Anasui, to help her protect Jolene. Viviana Westwood, a prison guard rendered mad by the stand survivor, frees all the prisoners and fights Jolene. 
While Westwood is a difficult opponent, Jolene ultimately defeats him. The third stand user, an elderly named Kenzo, confronts Jolene. However, Foo Fighters comes to the rescue and fights Kenzo while Anasui deals the final blow to him. During their fight, the bone caused plants to fuse out of all the normal inmates and created the green baby. Deciding to try to escape from prison, Jolene and Anasui meet a fourth stand, Yo-Yo Ma, which swallows the baby, thus forced to take him along while Foo Fighters stays in order to kill the user. While Jolene and Anasui struggle to hide from the guards with Yo-Yo Ma killing them slowly, Foo Fighters confront Enrico Pucci directly. Birth of the Green Baby Yo-Yo Ma is neutralized when Anasui fuses his brain with that of a frog, and Foo Fighters manages to kill Yo-Yo Ma's user. Now Jolene and Anasui face the hatched Green Baby, and although the Green Baby has the power to shrink anyone who approaches him, Jolene befriends it. Meanwhile, Foo Fighters manages to join Jolene and Anasui along Weather Report, but Weather Report suddenly attacks Foo Fighters and Anasui, bringing them down. White Snake disguised itself as Weather Report, and Enrico Pucci faces Jolene. A fight ensues, but Enrico Pucci throws away Jotaro's memory disc into the agonizing Anasui, threatening to destroy it. Jolene has no choice but to abandon the fight, and Pucci takes the baby and fuses with it. Foo Fighters sacrifices itself to save Anasui. The escape is a near-complete disaster. Escaping Prison While Enrico Pucci departs from the prison, Jolene confronts Mio Mio the chief warden from Green Dolphin Street Prison. Although Miu Miu's jailhouse lock stops Jolene from acquiring more than three memories, Emporio and Jolene manage to work together and coerce Miu Miu into letting the group escape. Sky High Emporio, Jolene, and Hermes escape from prison and pursue Enrico Pucci across Florida towards the coordinates north latitude 28 degrees 4 minutes, west longitude 80 degrees 36 minutes. Jolene first goes to her old boyfriend Romeo, who gives her a helicopter out of repentance. However, the trio soon crashes when they're attacked by Rikiel, one of Dio's sons. Rikiel, defeated after a tough battle, reveals that Weather Report is Enrico's brother. Underworld and Heavy Weather Jolene, Hermes, and Emporio soon reach the hospital in which Pucci is hiding. However, the third of Dio's sons, who answered to Pucci's call, intervenes with his stand Underworld. Able to summon memories from the ground, Donatello versus imprisons Jolene and Hermes in a plane crash. However, Jolene and Hermes manage to escape and defeat Donatello. However, Donatello manages to steal a memory disc and give it back to Pucci's brother, Weather Report. A new strange event appears as the streets are invaded by millions of snails and people transform into snails themselves. Although they're infected, Jolene and Hermes escape from the hospital and force Donatello to drive for them. Jolene interrupts Weather Report and Pucci's battle, but the former unfortunately dies while Pucci escapes. Cape Canaveral Jolene and her companions now have to drive towards Cape Canaveral to stop whatever Pucci's planning to do. However, the gravity suddenly shifts horizontally, and Hermes is taken away by falling debris. Now in the main courtyard of Cape Canaveral, Jolene fights with the new stand, Sea Moon. Although Sea Moon's strikes are dangerous since they can turn her body inside out, Jolene gains the upper hand until Pucci intervenes and guides Sea Moon to hit her chest. Jolene seemingly dies to her companion's dismay. However, as Jotaro approaches, Jolene is revealed to have survived and resumes her fight. Jotaro arrives thanks to Hermes and stops time. Pucci is wounded and surrounded, but figures out a way to unlock his ultimate power sooner than expected. As he floats away, no one can stop him from unlocking his last stand, and a bright light envelops everyone. Made in Heaven Jolene and her companions wake up and soon find out that time is accelerating, with living beings unaffected. Pucci and his stand made in heaven prove unable to properly counter in the open, and the group tries to reach the sea to stop Pucci coming. However, Jotaro, during a critical time stop, loses time trying to save Jolene from impending knives and misses Pucci. Pucci kills Jotaro, Anasui, and Hermes, while Jolene is critically wounded and Emporio is the only one still standing. As Pucci approaches Emporio, Jolene cuts one of his eyes and attacks Pucci, making a last stand to let Emporio escape and was effortlessly torn to pieces by Pucci's attack. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.